Welcome to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast, hosted by Craig Phillips and Jeff Torrey. Visit us at FantasyFootballProfit.com. And now your hosts, Craig and Jeff. Welcome everyone to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast. I'm Craig Phillips, joined as always by Jeff Torrey. And today we're going to do another mock draft as we start gearing up for the season. We're, I mean, less than a month and a half away from drafts starting up for people, I would say. Actually, some people have them at the end of July, you know, it's a little early, but we're getting closer and closer and closer. So how about we're going to do another little mock here, kind of see how we're feeling about some things. Took some different positions here in the draft. Jeff is going to be number three. I'm going to be 11, so we're going to do a 12-team standard. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I haven't picked that far back in the 12-team yet, so we'll see how this goes. Make sure you guys go check us out on Twitter, at the FF Profit or Instagram, Fantasy Football Profit. And again, if you want to get into one of our listener leagues, make sure you go review us on iTunes. Give us a five-star. I won't accept anything lower. That won't count. <laughs> it won't count if you do that. Review us on iTunes. Give us a five-star review. Send it to us. Let us know you did it. And you then will be in one of our listener leagues with the chance to win the championship belt that Pro Am Belts has provided for us. It's a great looking belt. So go check it out on Instagram. The draft has started. Jeff's on the clock already, number three. Todd Gurley went number one, no surprise. Zeke went number two. So Jeff gets to pick Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> Good call. So Le'Veon Bell will be Jeff. At number three, if you get Bell all day, you're going to be happy with that. There's, there's just no way around it. Yeah. That's why I love like three or four. You're going to be fine with whatever yeah, you get. If you're in the top four like I was, I already knew that the pick was pretty much made for me. Yep. Now the big question is, who do I get on the comeback round? And then uh, David Johnson went four, Antonio Brown five, Alvin Kamara, Leonard Fournette, Kareem Hunt, Saquon Barkley, Melvin Gordon. Really no surprises. And this is where the draft gets interesting because I'm at 11. So the best players on the board are probably wide receivers at this point. But I don't want to. I don't. I don't like miss, missing on wider running back. So, yes, I could maybe go with a Hopkins, a Beckham, kind of a thing. But you know what? I am going to try and see what I can do running back wise. So I'm going to go Dalvin Cook. Oh, you I, are. I, I like Dalvin Cook. I um, thought maybe you'd go Howard because of the safety value. I'm hoping he's back on the. I'm. I'm kind of hoping yes. he comes back to me. And that's that's kind of what I'm hoping. So McCoy went. And see that we talked about that in the last episode of McCoy. I was trying to figure out what I would do, and I, when it comes to it, I pick Cook over McCoy. Yep, and there you go. De- 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 DeAndre Hopkins. So then, you know what? Actually, you know what? Hmm. You're going Odell. Hmm. Oh man, that's tough. No, I, I can't do that. I have to stick to what I think works. But the problem is now, do I go Jordan Howard, or maybe do I st- go with Devontae Freeman, who's I feel like being slightly overlooked. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you go wrong. I think Devontae Freeman is a more talented back. I think so too. You know, that's that's this is a it's a toss up for me between these two guys. You know, Ten seconds left, Craig. I'm gonna go Devontae Freeman this time. All right. So I I got two running backs. Then Beckham went. Then Jordan Howard went. So who would have been my next guys? Devontae Adams went. Julio Jones, Christian McCaffrey, AJ Green, and then we will find out. See, I the back end of the draft in a twelve team is a little. To me, it's like if I'm at 11 there, Cook's fine, but it's like, I don't know. It's I like the number nine slot where he got Barkley and Howard more than I like my Cook and Freeman. Because I like Barkley more than I like Cook. You might I don't, you like Barkley slightly more than Cook, or do you like Cook more than Barkley? Um, I'll tell you the truth, I like Cook a little more than Barkley. See, so you might like my, you would, yeah, either way. Oh, and they took Keenan Allen, so Jeff's on the clock. He could go running back. Yeah, this is, this is where I know that I'm coming back around, and there's... No one that I'm specifically looking at. So I think in this instance, I'm going to go ahead and take my number one wide receiver. I'm going to go Michael Thomas. I I think it's a a no-brain decision to have him as my number one. That's good. So Le'Veon Bell, Michael Thomas, it's a good start. And then it depends on who comes back around you here, running back-wise, because maybe Joe Mixon gets there and you get him in the third. So Mike Evans went. Then Jarek McKinnon, Doug Baldwin, Derek Henry, Uh and Jeff's up. Mixon's probably the top on the board at this point. Yeah, and I was kind of hoping that Derrick Henry would come back to me. I'm totally fine with either one of these guys. But, yeah, I'm going to take Mixon in this one. So Mixon as a two is solid. Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly what you want, but in a 12-man league, I think that is completely fine. And I'm curious how my wide receiver situation is going to play out after passing on Odell there and Hopkins, actually, too. So 
Maybe it'll hopefully it works out. I, I think overall, it, usually you make up for it in wide receiver as you go down the draft. I think it's good enough because I mean, I like I love Stefan Diggs, and I like T. Y. Hilton a lot. So those guys, I'm hoping come back around to. Oh, and I, you'll get one of them for sure. I'm pretty. Yeah, you would have to. You would. You would hope so. So then Gronk went. Jay Ajayi went. Travis Kelsey, uh-huh. Josh Gordon, Darius Geis, Aaron Rodgers, Stefan Diggs got picked. Uh, well, you got one of them, though. So then I have to decide who I like the most out of T.Y. Hilton, Tyreek Hill, Adam Thalen. And you know what? To me, it's going to be Hilton because I think there's more upside with Andrew Luck. Tyreek Hill, I probably would be my third option. Thielen's probably my second. I think he's going to be good, but I'm going to go Hilton. I'm buying into Hilton a little bit right now. It's, it's an interesting number one receiver because it's – Slightly risky, so up and down. But we'll see what comes around to me. So in this league, yeah, Juju Smith-Schuster went. Tyreek Hill went. Juju Smith-Schuster went. Now I'm back up. And so that's when I think I'm going to look again at running back quick. I'm not sold on these guys. There's all the rookies here. That's where it's all the rookies. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know. And then or and then it's Alex Collins and Kenny Andre. So what I will probably do is just go with Adam Thielen as my number two. You see, my team, I'm not like in love with my team necessarily. It's not the you know the flashiest team in the world, but I think it's solid enough. Yeah, start. I think very solid. So after I picked Thielen, Alex Collins went, Amari Cooper, Deshaun Watson, Lamar Miller, Rashad Penny, Kenyon Drake. One more pick before Jeff is on the clock. Probably going to be looking to try to maybe get your receiver here, which there's some options. There's a, you know, Yep, Cooks is out there, Jeffrey's out there, Marvin Jones is out there, Fitzgerald's out there. Sony Michelle went before Jeff's pick. So now Jeff's on the clock. A few options. Or do you go running back? You know, you could go pick up pick up a Mark Ingram who's suspended. That's I hate picking the suspended guys like it's my fourth round. Not a big fan of it. For this one, I'm going a little more upside, but I'm gonna go ahead and go Allen Robinson actually. Yeah, that could work out. He could be fine. As a number two, so, yeah. it's pretty and solid. I do that because I know I can get guys to fill in later on. But um, otherwise, I, it would have been completely fine to take Brandon Cooks there. Yeah. Well, then after you picked Alshon went, then Brandon Cooks went, then Zach Ertz went, Jimmy Graham went. We already got four tight ends off the board at this point, which seems slightly early to me. I'm just not a tight end. I'm not a fan of picking tight ends early. So just back on the clock. And now it's kind of a best player available situation almost, which you yeah. like the best here. I think with one of those rookies, Ronald Jones staring you in the face. Yeah, it was either between him or you know what? Uh no, it's too rich for my blood. And make sure I get in in time. Get the click, pick. click, click. Ronald yeah, Jones. I took Ronald Jones. Yeah, I, I think that's solid I, as a number three. Yeah, I really thought about taking Mark Ingram. I I would have felt better if it was one round later. Um but with the four game suspension, I just figured, eh, I'll I'll take uh take the chance on the rookie. So, waiting for the next pick here before it moves. We got somebody that's actually drafted with us. So, they're taking that person. This so far, they have David Johnson, Sony Michelle, now Keenan Allen, Larry Fitzgerald, Rob Gronkowski. They picked yeah, Fitzgerald this round. Then Mark Ingram went Brady, Greg Olson, Demarius Thomas, Marvin Jones, Will Fuller, which to me feels like a reach. I can't. Uh, Will Fuller in the fifth? How do you feel about that? Yeah, I think that's too early. I, lo- I still love the Marvin Jones pick. So I'm up. I can just go with what I feel most comfortable with at this point. There's some wide receivers I do like. But then there's some running backs, which, you know, it's it's tough because Royce Freeman isn't necessarily stealing the job away right now in Denver. There's been too much talk about a committee. But I don't necessarily – you know what? You know what? I will go – I'm going to go Deion Lewis, actually. Deion Lewis, all right. He, he's – as my third – I think he's going to get enough volume there, which I think he'll get enough volume to be okay. I feel actually more comfortable with him than Royce Freeman for some reason. So after I picked Lewis, Tevin Coleman went off the board. Russell Wilson went off the board. So I'm back on the clock. There's they're saying there's still a lot of wide receivers that I'm okay with. So you know what? This is where I think I will go with Royce Freeman then. You get him as my fourth and get that rookie. And turn I'll get Royce Freeman here. I'll feel more comfortable with that. So he'll be my fourth. Maybe he breaks out. So after I picked Freeman, Evan Ingram went, Jordy Nelson, Golden Tate, Drew Brees, Chris Hogan, Cam Newton. One more pick before you're up. So you could go with a third receiver. You could look at a quarterback. You could look at tight end. 
a lot of tight ends off the board though. So at this point, I think you wait. Once once it gets to this point and there's the top like six off the board, that's when I just say screw it and wait. <laughs> I I can't pick one. And at this point now we're in the six. We have five quarterbacks off, six quarterbacks off the board, seven quarterbacks off the board. Carson Wentz just went. Oh, nope, Wentz went. So seven quarterbacks off the board so far in, into the sixth. They're going pretty quickly. So again, that probably means to me, I just stick around and wait. <laughs> I just wait, wait, wait. Unless there's somebody you love, like a Kirk Cousins. Um, man, 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 man. It's tough. It is tough. There's no one. This is a rough I hate spot. this part of the draft. This is right? very, very rough. Um, not because I'm running out of time, too. But I'm actually going to go ahead and take Kerryon Johnson. I'm going to take a rookie. It's a little bit of a reach. But at the same time, I think it, it works well with the rest of the team I have. So Kerryon Johnson went... Then Marshawn Lynch, Kirk Cousins, Jarvis Landry, Landry, Jimmy Garoppolo. You know, they've kind of screwed up this thing. There's another Ronald Jones in the draft. I saw that. I wasn't sure which one I got. I assume matter. it was ranked higher. So. There, there's, a, there's some Ronald some Jones bugs, the some bugs in the second. I won't <laughs> pick him. I will stay away. <laughs> we can't both have him. I laughed. Um, for this one, I'm just going to go. I'm, I'm going for – High upside. So on this one, I never thought I would ever pick this guy, but Sammy, Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins. Okay, but at the seventh round, yeah, right? That's Yeah, so I have, I mean, Michael Thomas, Allen Robinson, and Sammy Watkins, I think a lot of upside there. And then you have Le'Veon Bell, obviously my number one guy, and then Joe Mixon, Ronald Jones, and Kerryon Johnson. So I feel like it's a good mix. And now, and really I can wait to for tight end. I can wait on, well, who knows, QB might come up next round, but now I'm just going for best player available, and I think I can really fill in. So that's kind of the way it's working right now in, that, in this 12-man draft. LSD about to pick, 10 seconds to go, and he takes Marlon Mack. Okay, Marlon Mack. Then Corey Dell, Corey Davis. I was really hoping Corey Davis came back to me. That was my hope. But then Crabtree went, Funches went, Aaron Jones, Kyle Rudolph, Carlos Hyde. Man, a lot of there's a couple receivers that went that I really hoped would get back to me. That was interesting. All right. <laughs> Taking Marlon Mack. All right, I don't know what to pick here. Man, this is a tough one for me. I'm really at a loss here, Jeff. And, oh, I see someone that I would assume you're going to take. I like Randall Cobb. Yeah, that's what I assume. And you're I running feel out like time, it's so. too, too early. Yeah, pick someone. Maybe you go upside, Devontae Parker. I'm trying to think what you would take Screw here. Screw it. I'm just picking it. I like him. Yeah, Randall Cobb. I he, he, I just have to go with my gut. And he's my third. I, that's that's probably early. It probably is. Yeah, yeah, but you're about to come back around, so I don't think you missed out on someone at the moment. Tariq Cohen went. Delaney Walker went. So I didn't miss out on anybody. Hmm. This is another interesting spot. I don't love it again. I don't love it. I don't love it. But you got to pick just some talent. And you know what? That's just where I will go. Devontae Parker. And hope, 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 hope he does it this year. So I don't love, I don't love this team. I don't like my spot. I don't like anything about. So that's why I hate snake drafts. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> that's why I'm auction drafts where it's at. So after I picked Parker, Jared Goff went. Rex Burkhead, Trey Burton, but Garrett Blunt, Julian Edelman, Jordan Reed. One more pick before Jeff is up. It went to Nick Chubb, who I kind of thought about, but he's still a backup right now. It's a that's a tough spot. So, you go a bunch of different ways here. You know, there's a couple guys that... <laughs> somebody's going Yeah, there's a couple guys I wouldn't mind getting if they come back to All right, so Nick Chubb. He goes. Yeah. Oh. All right, I'd be taking a risk, and much larger than the ones I've taken above. So, I think this is the perfect spot where I take Andrew Luck. <laughs> so I take Andrew Luck in the eighth. I think that's I think great really value. I I, you know, he's on his way back up to being healthy. Even if he wasn't, I, I, I can a, I can swallow that. I think that's a great pick there. That's a I, I really I mean you picked Andrew Luck after Jared Goff went. I mean that's just a nope. It's I think that's crazy. So after you picked Luck, Pierre Garcon went. Isaiah Crowell, Emmanuel Sanders, Rams defense. Jeff's up again. Yeah, I can't believe. Andrew Luck's going after Jared Goff and Jimmy Garoppolo. Just not, not no. He's he's going to be good. Just don't. I don't. If he's if he's the quarterback, people need to stop worrying. He's going to be great. Just, and 
All right. Well, I'm just going to continue with the risky draft, and I'm going to go Tyler Eifert. Once again, if the guy can stay healthy, unbelievable. If he can't, I can swallow that at nine. Yeah. I can I can replace him later. Not a big deal. So that's where I'm going. Yeah, so I'm sitting here. I'll be my pick in a bit. I have four receivers. I have four running backs. I haven't gone quarterback. I haven't gone tight end. I keep waiting. I could go a million different ways here. Tight end now, at this point, I really just wait because I don't really know what to do. All the good ones are gone. Quarterback, there's still plenty for me, I think, at quarterback. Where I just I'll stick I'll just wait it out. So Marquise Goodwin just went, then Jacksonville D, Robert Woods, Chris Thompson, CJ Anderson, Ronald Jones looking again. They screwed that one up. <laughs> Jamal Williams, and then I am on the clock, and I don't love my situation. So I don't at all. I don't love this, Jeff. I don't even know what to think. I don't know what to do. I don't have any idea i have no direction i don't know what i'm should do the, the problem here is it, it's definitely wide receiver heavy, heavy yeah. right so, because okay, there's know, still I'm, guys I'm out gonna, there so i will just go with what i think is more talent at this point and i will take a bit of a risk and draft yeah a player i like that one robbie anderson I think he's going a little bit lower than he should. Yes, so he's I my think, fifth. I think in the ninth round, that is incredible value there. So after that, him went Nelson Aguilar, went. There's going to be another player that will be taken after Nelson Aguilar is taken, and then I'll be up again. And then I got to make a decision if I even – I have four running backs, and I don't love the rest of them, so I don't know if I do it. I just – I mean, at this point, what guy am I going to even care about here? <laughs> I mean, really, right? Philip Rivers went, so I'm up. I mean, I was looking at, I was kind of, I was looking at Devontae Booker because I already have Royce Freeman. By why, right, right? It's like and, and that's the problem with. I, there are a few running backs that I still like on here, but all of them are playing second fiddle. You don't really know what's going to happen. It, it again, really is. A I don't giant. like any of the tight ends, and there's plenty of quarterbacks that like. I don't. There's not one I need right now. That's where I'm at. So you know what I'll do? I'm actually going to take a, sh- a little risk. I'm going to draft Doug Martin because I just don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, there you in, go. In the 10th, I think I can take that risk because there's a chance that Doug Martin becomes Doug Martin of a couple seasons that he's done before. He's up and down. Who knows? So after I picked Martin, it went Minnesota defense, Allen Hurts, Calvin Benjamin, Jamison Crowder, Matthew Stafford, Corey Clement. One more pick before Jeff's up again. Yeah, see, I think I think Doug Martin's worth a risk as a fifth running back. You can do that. Yeah. And, I mean, really, there was three running backs I was looking at. I think all of them come with a decent amount of risk. I don't know who I'm going to pick here after LSD goes. I'm looking at my team. What do I need? I really can go either way. You can just kind of pick whatever you want at this point. Yeah, I think there's enough wide receivers after the fact. Philly D. went. So it's on me, and I'm going to go ahead and take one more running back because they're desperately in decline <laughs> they really are and right now i'm thinking i'm either going De- uh, deontay foreman or ty montgomery and i think for this one i'm gonna go i'm gonna go ty montgomery okay it's, so, so i pick knows? him yeah and i think uh i don't necessarily need him but i think he is just another great piece to have so Devontae booker went after that then houston d Matt Ryan starts off the 11th. Derek Carr is the next quarterback. That is interesting. I think that's a little much for him. There's a lot of guys ahead of him. That I, a lot of guys I'd pick ahead of him there. So Jeff's up. You can kind of go maybe looking at wide receiver now. Yeah, and right now I'm looking at kind of all the young guys. Oh. <laughs> uh, Calvin Ridley's out there. DJ uh, Moore's out there. Right, and I'm going to go DJ Moore. I like him better than Ridley this year. Right. Um, I mean, there, there's so many young guys, and I'm just tossing them out there. I mean, really, like we talked about, it was DJ Moore. There was Kelvin Ridley, Christian Kirk, John Ross, Mike yep. Williams. So even the second-year guys. Oh, I was going to pick Roethlisberger. He went one pick before me. <laughs> so after you picked Mahomes, went Cooper Cup, went Devont- Deontay Foreman. Chargers D, Calvin Ridley, Sterling Shepard, and then one pick before me, Ben Roethlisberger, as their second quarterback. Just come on. Why? So then I that was my guy. I was hoping I was gonna get Roethlisberger there. Dang it. I am a little disappointed and I don't know what to do. This is really frustrating, Jeff. So you know what? I'm gonna not even take one. 
I'm going to go for one of my upside players, Mike Williams. I like Mike Williams a lot. So I'm going to pick him there and then try to make a decision on quarterback. Chris Carson went after that. Denver D, I'm back on the clock. I could pick a quarterback, but, you know, I'm just heartbroken by missing out on Ben Roethlisberger. I think I'm going to wait. I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm really disappointed. I don't even, I was, this isn't even a real draft. <laughs> kind of sucked, man. I didn't know. I don't know. So I will then go and look at tight end and I will pick O.J. Howard. O.J. Oh, Howard, love that one. So was- after Howard, Michael Gallup went, Martavis Bryant, Carolina D, Dak Prescott, Baltimore D, Marcus Mariota. There's a million quarterbacks gone. I don't recommend picking a backup quarterback. I just don't think it's that smart. I don't think you need to. But in this league, Everyone wants to. One more pick before Jeff's up. We're in the 12th of a 15-round draft. So we have basically two more position players before you go kick or D. Two more positions. Yep. So you just kind of pick. You're just picking best player available, probably kind of looking at upside at this point, looking at rookies, looking at young guys. That's kind of how I play this part of the draft. Yeah, without a doubt. So right now... What I'm thinking of is I'll probably go Christian Kirk. So Richard Matthews went before you, so you're up. There you go. I'm just going to go ahead and take Christian Kirk. I think, I think solid. Upside. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. Nope. Latavius Murray went next. Duke Johnson went. I, I've thought about Duke Johnson for about four rounds now. He just, I'm never going <laughs> to take him. Marquise Lee, Kenny Stills. It's, I'm not excited about either of those guys, honestly. And Jeff's up again. Oh, and um, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually just going to uh, take a kicker. I'm just jump starting that earlier. I'll probably go kicker and then Is there lamps? Defense, a bunch I'm, of defenses uh, already won. I'm so. going quarterback in this pick if my guy's there. Yeah, I'm, I was actually get, thinking about get possibly going quarterback my last one just to back up luck, just to make sure. For luck, yeah. But I have a guy I want. And if he goes. Uh, let be, me. Oh, let me see here. Do you have a, who, who's your quarterback right I have now? none. Oh, oh, you're going to take Eli? Nope. D.D. Westbrook went. Cameron Meredith. Powell Dixon. Alex Smith. Jameis went. Oh, Jameis. <laughs> Let's quit. <laughs> Both times have been sniped. Brandon Marshall. I'm up on the clock. Eli, is staring, you, Eli is staring you right in the face. I you kept hyping him. Eli. Yeah. I have to. <laughs> Eli's the guy. Eli Manning is my quarterback. Ouch. <laughs> Eli. Then Frank Gore went Justin Tucker. Now I'm up. Now I'm going to go kicker D. I'll get Steven Goskowski in round 14. Man, my guys just kept getting t- – you know, Eli's going to be great. Amazing. Wonderful. <laughs> Man, that was – All right, so now kickers are going. I'm in the 14th. I'm going to go ahead and take my defense. A bunch of them have already gone, but it's still better than waiting. I'm just going to take best available after the pick before me, and then I already know my last pick is going to be – I'm going to back up Andrew Luck. And as long as something egregious doesn't happen, I'm going to take Tyrod. Once again, I would say I'm a Tyrod guy this year. I think he's hugely underrated. I think he's a great backup. And I'm up. And I'm going to go ahead and... The only position player gone in this round. Oh, man. Defense is trying to figure out which one I want. (laughs) (laughs) Um, New England is out there, but I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go Pittsburgh. And, you know, whatever. It's a defense. Yeah, I'm not too concerned with mine. Jack Doyle just went. Tyler Lockett went. Jeff's up. Final pick. Can you pick any player he wants? I'm going Tyrod. Tyrod Tyrod Taylor. Taylor. And my draft is officially done. Now we're just waiting it out to see who LSD picks the computers. And then Craig does have one pick left. I don't really care who it is. Yeah, so, whatever. So at this point, Jeff, I'll just pick mine in a minute. So look through your team. What do you think about your squad here? How do you like him? I actually really like my team. It I started think, off yeah. a little iffy, um, like yeah. ju- just a few spots where I wasn't so sure. But the fact that I got luck so late, if he stays healthy, Eifert, I kind of don't expect him to stay healthy. But if he does too, I think my my team is just very solid. Le'Veon Bell, Joe Mixon. And then I'll be able to throw in either Ronald Jones, Kerryon Johnson, Ty Montgomery in that third uh, running back spot. And then Michael Thomas, Allen Robinson, Sammy Watkins should hold it down. But I also have DJ Moore and Christian Kirk um, to help me out. And then I also get 
Tyrod to back up luck just in case. I, I really like the team, um, especially in a 12-man. I, I don't see it going too much better. There's obviously a few guys I would have loved to swap, but they weren't available. So what are you going to do? I don't love mine. <laughs> I, I could tell. <laughs> I don't love it. Who, r- give me a rundown, though. Who, who'd you end up with? So, Eli's my quarterback, and yeah, right? Is that what you just, you say Eli's your quarterback, and you just, yeah. Yeah, ouch. So, but I'm not, it's not as ouch. It's okay. It's okay. He, I mean, he does have a but lot of weapons wise, this year. I got Dalvin Cook as my RB1, which is, it's, it's, we don't know. It could be great. It's well, hard to say. I think the Dalvin Cook, Deontay. Yeah, and Deontay Foreman. Yeah, Deontay Devante. Foreman, Freeman. He's my number two. It's okay. Deion Lewis is my three. Royce Freeman is my four. And Doug Martin is my five. I don't love that. T.Y. Hilton is my one receiver. Then Adam Thielen. That's fine. Randall Cobb, Devontae Parker, Robbie Anderson, Mike Williams. I don't love this team, OJ Howard. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. Give up. I think, I think you have uh, some good pieces, but the problem is they're kind of all – Yeah. You don't, I mean, who do you start? They're all just kind it's of on the fan. same level. It's yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a tough spot. I'm almost thinking – I don't even know what I would do different. Like, I don't know where the difference is. Like, what you... I think, honestly, I think if it wasn't for... If it wasn't for Eli, <laughs> I think if you <laughs> like would have picked... If I get Roethlisberger in the, in the 11, that's my QB. You know, like I was planning on. It's a different team with yeah, Roethlisberger. Yeah, exactly. And but I, even with that, I'm not a fan. Of, it's it's okay, though. It's it, You can work with it. You can work with it. I'll say that. You know, yeah. That's pretty much it. The I think the, the part that scares me is the... The third running back. And the third receiver. Yeah, you're just not <laughs> there's really not, there's sure. Not, there's not depth in the quarterback and the tight end are risky. It's just I'm not a fan of this team. But that's it's a tough spot. That 11 is a tough spot. Yeah, because it's, it's hard too because you if you told me your first four picks, I'd be like, yeah, that's very, very solid. So, you know what I, I might think of doing on a team like this is on the 11th, shoot, do you go DeAndre Hopkins, Odell Beckham, and then just load up on the rookies at running back? And try to do something that way. You could maybe do that if you're back. It's 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 a little it's a little interesting. Or you might go running back receiver. I mean, I mean that's the thing. I think instead of grabbing Deion Lewis there, I think I don't know. I I, I truly don't know. Because at that point, Deion Lewis, the running backs after him were Tevin Coleman, Marshawn yeah. Lynch, Carryon Johnson. The problem is all the yeah. rookies were already gone. Yeah, it's kind of an iffy. Yeah, and really, if you if, uh, if you would have taken away, say, um, even uh, say T. Y. Hilton, if you didn't get him. And you went with the next guy. So you could have gotten Jay Ajayi, uh, which you love, or Darius Geis, Joe Mixon, Derrick Henry, any of those guys are available. If you do that instead and you and oh, they went they went ahead of TY. Oh shoot, you're right. Yeah. Wow, it went yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I was so at that the, point you're the just kinda way. like it, it really you couldn't have done anything It's a tough spot. Well, yeah, you would have I mean Sony Michelle, Kenyon Drake, Rashad Penny, Lamar Miller. Those would have been those would have been my number two. <sighs> yeah. Mm. Right or number well know, number whatever. three. Yeah. If you would have, I don't see you could have really gone that differently. I think you would have had to. The only way you could have made up for it, I think, I would have rather have a better QB than yeah. than having like uh, yeah. Devontae Parker, Robbie yeah. Anderson. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's a rough spot to be but, in to be late in that draft. Yeah, all right, I'll do it for our mock draft. Our first, this is our first twelve team mock draft we've done. We'll do some more. We'll probably do two QB PPR. We'll do all kinds of different stuff as we get going. So we will talk to you guys next week.